Welcome to Secular Soup. Stay tuned for real talk about atheism, feminism, politics, parenting, and whatever the fuck else Amy and Amy want to talk about, because this is their show. And get ready for a whole lot of motherfucking profanity. You want to hear a secret? Uh, I couldn't. I won't tell anybody. Go ahead. If I sit next to you, I'm going to get gonorrhea. It's going to jump into me. Just two ladies hanging out. Is it okay for me to make fun of his neck waddle if I make fun of my own neck waddle? I'm not sure. That's a real ethical conundrum. Would you know if you were born a lizard person or can you be like adopted into the... I think you know. We're such professionals. We really are. Buckle up, bitches. It's time to have some soup. I'm Amy with a Y. And I'm Amy with an I. And we're just two blueberries floating in a bowl of tomato soup. Welcome to episode 21. What? We can legally drink now. We can finally drink. You've been drinking Way for a ahead while, of you episode. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but the episode can legally drink now. I'm not so. taking it out anywhere. It can buy me a drink. That's true. We're delightful. People should be buying us drinks. Yes. Agreed. Um, I, uh, what am I doing? I don't, it's, uh, it's been such a long day. So we had it really has. a topic suggestion from Carissa, who's one of our top patrons. Mm-hmm. And she had suggested that we, she gave us two topics. And one of them was about um, how misgendering a trans person can be a matter of life and death and not just simple disrespect. And Amy and I kind of discussed it beforehand and we're just, we're not entirely comfortable answering that because we're not trans and we don't want to speak for anyone. And we kind of feel like we've kind of, we've sort of covered this territory before, especially times. in the last episode. Yeah. And yeah. Like, you know, calling people by their, the pronouns that they ask you to use and calling people by the name they tell you is a very simple thing to do. And not only is it respectful, but, you know, trans people are being murdered at much higher rates than, than cis people. Sexually assaulted at higher rates, higher suicide rates. So it's, yeah, it's a, it's a life or death situation. So yeah, we don't have much to add to that other than, to emphasize that yes, this is very being serious. on the it's side not just of about respect rights for everybody is a yeah. life or death situation. It just it is. Yeah. Yep. And we need to, as a society, get better at this and accept people for who they are. Stop so that being such massive assholes as a society. Oh, that's a big ask. I don't know. <sighs> really? Seriously? Have you, have you seen America? I haven't met America now. Uh, yeah. America, the person, we love you. America, the country, we hate you. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, we just, you know, we don't feel like we have much to add to that other than listen to trans people when they tell you yeah, that the things you're saying are hurtful or dangerous. Or it's not yeah, much or to add. Offensive ask. or yeah, in any in any way, just listen. Yeah, just listen. Don't be a dick. Just um, try not to. There, but Some people it's hard. It's hard for you. It's it's hard. It's, it's, dicks get hard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Damn it. Speaking Early of which, on. Zach, Damn. Zach finally got his bowl, and he appreciated the dick I drew on it, so. He didn't feel threatened by it, or? No, he thought I kind of skimped on the dicks a little bit, because mm. Tom and Cecil each got three dicks. How many each, did he get? And I only gave Zach one. Wow. But I told Zach that's because I like him more, so the more I like you, the less dicks you get on your bowl. That's how the math works out. I have zero dicks on my bowl. That's because I love you. Aww. I love you the most, so there's no dicks on I have bowl. Um, lukewarm feelings towards you. Mm, good enough. <laughs> it's good, good enough, enough for me. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, so Carissa's other topic idea was how children's birthday parties have gotten out of control, equally as uh, serious yeah. and consequential as the first topic. <laughs> um, sure. Very, very... <laughs> Serious topic to wade into. I took my eight-year-old to a birthday party on Sunday. Um, it was at an indoor bouncy house park. Ugh, and he places. got violently ill two days ago and was puking all over the place. So I think bouncy house places and birthday parties in general are just They're, a petri dish for bacteria. Bouncy house places, trampoline places. Although I do like the trampoline places. But those places are just a nightmare. Especially the worst time I've ever been is Wednesday on Thanksgiving break. 
Like the Wednesday Ugh. before Thanksgiving, everybody has family in town. It's all the yeah. cousins. Let's go to the bounce play or let's go to the trampoline park. Oh my god, Ugh. it's a nightmare. We there's don't have a trampoline park everywhere. We have yeah, we have everything up here. But I know. there's kids everywhere, and they're all touching things, and <laughs> they want to talk to me because I look nice or something. And oh, you look so Christian. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Here's a little. Here's a little story. Okay. <laughs> Last night, my door. Someone rings my doorbell at like nine o'clock at night. Eight, like mm-hmm. eight fifty, nine o'clock at night. I was home alone with my animals, and because I don't have the kids this Sexy. week. And yeah, mm-hmm. oh yeah, I'm watching a. <laughs> What was I watching? Some Showtime show. Ha- mm-hmm. Happy-ish. It's on Netflix. It's funny. Okay. So I'm I'm home. I'm home alone. I'm like, who's ringing my doorbell? And so I hope that it's not a murderer because I don't. I can't see out of my peephole. So I open it up with my dog growling and barking next to me. So I'm like, this should be a deterrent. But it's this. So you weren't sure if it was a murderer, but you opened the door anyway, right? Because how else are they going to okay. murder me Good. if I don't open the door? Good point. Good point. Um, Carry on. I mean, they have to make a living somehow. Mm -hmm. So I open the door. My dog is like snarling next to me. So that's, you know, she's big. She's like 87 pounds. So that's, she's good. So I'm Mm -hmm. holding her back because she doesn't have a collar on. So I'm holding her by her fur. And he's like, hey, my car ran out of gas. My friends are pushing around a corner. Do you have like one or two dollars just to contribute? Because I don't have any money and I need to go. There's a gas station right around the corner. He's like, can I just roll it there? And I just need a couple bucks. I'm just asking, you know, I only have this much and I need just a couple more. And I was like. Hold on, let me check. And so I closed the door and locked it and ran and I had grabbed mm-hmm. like two bucks. I'm like, eh, he's probably scamming people, but I don't really care. Yeah. And so I opened the door, I handed him two bucks. He was like, thanks, you're really awesome. That's really great. He was like, I just moved in a couple doors down. And as I'm closing the door, he was like, you're really cute. And I was like, okay, bye. Oh, and I locked the door. I was no. like, crap. Does he know I'm alone? Or is he just being nice? Or is he a major creeper? Because I don't want someone who, you know... Mm-hmm. Know that I'm alone. He's a creeper moving. Yeah. Right. Right. And I was fine with it. You know, he seemed like a young guy. He's like early 20s. Mm-hmm. He seemed decent. And you know, I was yeah. fine with it. He seemed a little, you know, strung out or whatever, but who isn't? You know, yeah. like whatever. It's your neighborhood. Exactly. I live in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, he's like, he's like that. But that comment, the you're really cute as I'm closing the door, I'm like, oh, shit. That's creepy. <sighs> and I know I look like warm garbage last night. So he was lying. <laughs> Oh, my God. You know, something that I actually had put down on our shared list of topic ideas mm-hmm. that I don't believe you have accessed yet or downloaded the app for. I can't get back all, past all the dick pics. Publicly chastise you on air. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, because when I open up Google Docs, it's just all the dick mm-hmm. pics. And so I'm like, okay. Yeah, it's it's not a Google Doc. <laughs> it's the Google Keep app where you can make checklists. But oh, at any rate, yeah, I haven't downloaded here that there. because I have too many dick pics on my phone. Yeah, you need to make up some space there and delete some of but those dick pics. But who gets Just cut? Who, like, send them to how Tom do you and make Cecil. that choice? Like, who, which That's dick true. gets cut? That's it's true. It's like getting rid of one of your children. Uh, that's you're right. We don't need to have topic ideas. Just say, could you get a backup phone or like a hard drive that yeah, you I'm could gonna just get a burner them all phone to? just for my get dick pics. No, that's a great idea. That's a, that's a great good idea. idea. You should do that anyway. You should ask I, Eli what, he's list, done, what he does. Yeah, I bet he has a burner phone for it just for dick pics, or maybe he has one of those old fashioned wallets with the wallet size photos and he prints them all out <laughs> onto photos. Brilliant idea. You know, like how grandmas have the stack of wallet-sized photos of their grandkids that they can show off? It's the same type of thing. Um, way off topic. What, is the, it? The point yeah, I was going to make is... Sorry. <laughs> wasn't Sorry. even birthday parties. I had moved on to a different topic already. Oh, okay. So one of the things I wrote down on that list, I've just been... As I've been kind of having random thoughts, I put them on the list for yeah, like... That's a oh, good idea because I'm never can talk home about. And- yeah, I'm never home to like type it up, Mm-mm. so I just put it on my phone. But one thing I had put down was things that guys do that are creepy that they may not realize creep us out yeah, so much. Yeah, telling me I'm really cute in the middle of the night at my front door. Yeah. Super creepy, dude. You might be really nice and you might not be trying to creep me out, but it fucking creep me mm-hmm. out. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things men do that just like. Uh, do you realize how uncomfortable you're making? And I don't think they realize like taking how uncomfortable things out of they're your making arms people. While you're at the grocery store, like trying to carry it for you, but they don't just ask you if they can carry it for you. They take yeah. it out of your arms for you. Ugh. Here, let me help you with that. And they lift it out of your arms. I've had that. That happens to me often, actually. They just lift it out That's of my arms. Creepy. They're like, let me help you. I'm like, um, I've got it. Thanks. 
Yeah, I with me. It's I should just bite their I'm, hands. I should just start chewing on. Start them. biting. Yeah, get a rabies shot and then start biting people. Oh, You'll I'm not going to get a rabies shot. I'm going to get rabies bit. Nah. I'm going to yeah. get rabies well, first, then bite people. You want to start giving people rabies? Exactly. That's a good idea. Pretty soon, the whole state of Texas will have rabies <laughs> because I bite and everybody. We won't have to worry about them anymore. The whole It'll state. Be great. That's right. Yeah. Um. No, when I'm in my shop working a lot, I you know I'm just one lady in my shop and anybody can walk in and look for things. And sometimes guys will come in and they just, you just get a creepy feeling and there's yeah. nothing to back it up other than I don't like the vibe this guy is giving off. And I feel like, you know, yeah, I get it. I feel like he could murder me at any moment and nobody would know. And I don't think the guys that are, there's, they're probably not intending to do anything. But again, I don't think they realize how intimidating that can be to women, especially when they're alone. Yeah, because you're, you know, there's guys that are just, they're just bigger and they're stronger. And yeah. I'm, and they could do anything and you yeah, they can. are in a vulnerable oh, position. Wait, you're not, you're not in favor of this. Okay. No, this is, I'm you're, the point I'm making is it's not good. Not yeah. pro do no. whatever you want to do. Not. Make. No, okay. not pro. Do whatever you want. Okay, no, okay. we are a consent driven podcast. That's, here, you're, Amy, right, you're so. right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, and that yep, was not implied yep, consent so. to anyone. No, nope. So yeah, I don't. I have no other valid point to make other than that, guys. Guys are fucking do creepy. Things that we just don't that are creepy, and we're sorry that. Oh, and the patronizing creepy, smile you when you don't accept the help really doesn't Ugh. help either. Like when when yeah. there's because people will they do this a lot because I'm I'm sh I'm short I've talked about this and they'll lift mm -hmm. things out oh let me help you with that because I guess people are just being helpful let me help you with that mm -hmm. or they'll lift something like if I'm carrying like a bag of dog food which is really heavy because I have a massive dog or yeah. you know a case of water or something that's that's heavy and, and bulky but I'm fine yeah. like I'm not asking for help I can put it on one hip I'm fine and I can you know gather things with my other arm. But if I'm sitting there carrying, let me help you, and they start to lift it, and I'm like, oh, no, I'm good, I'm good, and I, I've got it, and I get, like, a tighter grip, then they're like, oh, okay, good for you, or something oh, like that. Aren't like, you oh, aren't you cute, trying to do it you. by yourself? Yeah. If you knew not... the things I did by myself all the time and every day. <laughs> did I talk on here at all about the two creepy guys that showed up in my shop one day? No. And the one kept repeating my name back to me? Ew. Amy, that's really I've annoying, Amy. I've told a bunch of people this story, Amy, and it's, I can't remember if I did it on the podcast or not, Amy. No, these two fucking Super creepers weird. come into my shop. One of them looks just like Justin Bieber. Oh, like, of course he does. Identical. Douche swagger. And then his friend who's with him just looks like every um, like Justin stereotype Bieber's of a stoner. No, not even that. Like, if you... If you're thinking in your head, what does a stoner look like? The guy that came to my door last night. <laughs> it's this guy. Maybe it's the same guy. Jean jacket Maybe he's traveling with the sweatshirt state state. hoodie underneath. Long, stringy, No, this brown guy hair. was like okay. long, dirty hair, kind of in a ponytail. Okay. Uh, kind of a goatee, like some facial scrub, <laughs> but not really shaven or grown out. Just kind of in between. He's trying. He's trying. Just... Yeah, and he was very quiet, but the Bieber guy was Ooh. obnoxious. And he came in, and he's looking around, and he's like, oh, it for, well, first they walk up to where I'm sitting behind the counter, walk right up, which is weird, because usually if you go into a store, you just browse. Right. Now they come right up to me, and he's like, oh, your hair looks fantastic. I love your hair. I'm like, thanks? Like, I, are you going to try to cut it off of me or something? Oh. I just, it was just the way he said it was so yeah. creepy. And I'm like, okay, thanks. And then I think I had a, I have a little handmade name tag or something. So he saw that my name was Amy. Right. Which is and a really difficult name though. So you it's know. hard to spell and pronounce. I get it. <laughs> but he was walking around and just like going, oh, this is a really cool thing, Amy. This is, where did you get this from? How much is this, Amy? Oh, look at this, Amy. Just, and he finally bought something. He's like, well, you sold me on this, Amy. This is a really nice. And I'm just thinking, okay, either <gasps> this guy, either this guy is going to try to tell me the good news of Jesus or <laughs> he's going to murder me. And it could totally you know, go either it way. Could, or both. Like you could. Or both. It could have been both. Yeah. I mean, 
He was so fucking obnoxious and telling me about his, he was, he had some banquet to go to and his girlfriend was out of town. And I'm thinking, are you trying to invite me to this banquet? Because I'm not, first of all, Pass. I'm at least three times this kid's age. Like, I'm way older than you, dude. I don't three want, times. And just, I'm there by myself. And, oh, it was just I uh, I literally that day put in the group that we're in. I just while they were in the building, I'm like, um, there's some really creepy guys here, and I could get murdered. So if I'm not back responding in like ten minutes, send help. <laughs> a few people were actually like, seriously, that's creepy. Tell us what's going on. Let us know you got home safe. Did you check their license plate number? Did you make sure you? Did? And I it's I super actually creepy. did. I looked out the window to make sure I could recognize their car. Because then I thought maybe they're scouting the place out and they're going to come back and rob it later when I'm gone. Like, I made sure I knew what their car was. And yeah, they're just (laughs) creepy, creepy. uh... So today at work, we had a creeper. Was it the same? Was it the same creeper? No, this was an older guy that kind of looked like um, Fred Armisette. Kind of. Oh, he and he looked very distinguished. He had glasses on. He looked like a character that that he would Hmm. play. He was very, he looked like a very nice, nice gentleman, but he was late for an appointment because he had a meeting today at at my office and he was Mm -hmm. 20 minutes late for his appointment. And so we were like, we're really sorry. We're going to have to reschedule because, you know, you can't come to your appointment this late. late. You get bumped. We give him five minutes, you know, he has an outstanding bill of like $239, but he's been a long-term client. So we bumped down a hundred dollars. So it's like $139 and he's like... Mm -hmm. He's getting right in my my friend's face. And he was like, I'm not going to pay it. I'm absolutely not going to pay it. And we're like, okay, well, have a nice day, sir. We have nothing to do with Uh, any of this. Like, sorry, we have nothing to do with this. I was sitting in a different department today. I was like, I don't know. I have nothing to do with this. And so he was was like right in my friend's face. And then she was like, well, I'm really sorry. I'll send over the message. I'll let them know what you're thinking, you know, whatever. And um, Mm -hmm. and he was like, okay, you know, I, I understand you're not responsible for that. You know, thank you. And then she was like, well, have a nice day, sir. Mm -hmm. And he turns and walks out. And we're like, whew. And then he came right back in. And he, like, marched right up to the counter. Oh, God. Because I – and he he gets gets right in her face and he was like, you know, I'm usually not someone that says anything, but that smirk that you gave me at the end really set me off. (gasps) And he was like, I just want you to know that the way you treat people matters and you just treated me like shit. And that smirk at the end – was uncalled for. He's like, you can ask anyone around. If someone smirks at you and you're upset, you know, it's it's not okay. And she was like, I, I'm i very sorry. Have a nice day, sir. And he was like, there it is again. She was like, what? Like, <laughs> what? Like, like that's yeah, just her she face? she just has one of those friendly and, faces. Oh, and so he, he went out and left. Yeah. And, you know, the people from the other offices coming out, they're like, what the fuck was that? And then we could see his car was still out there. For 40 minutes, just sitting out there. And so we oh had a couple of people God. that were watching to make sure he didn't come back in because it oh, was like shit. really unnerving that this freaky guy. And I turned to her, I was like, You didn't smirk. Yeah. I said, I was biting the inside of my cheek to not laugh at him in his face. I was the one in danger of smirking. Yeah. She was, yeah, she was solid. She was like, Have a nice day, sir. I'm understand. I can understand, you know, understand your concerns. You know, all the business speak. And I was over there biting my lip, going, mm-hmm. Laugh at him. Don't laugh at him. Oh, this guy's fucking crazy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that was my today. That doesn't that doesn't no. sound like fun at all. Yeah, 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. He sat out there for 40 minutes. Everybody yeah. was kind of on edge. Because there is a couple offices that mm-hmm. overlook that part of the parking lot. And so they were watching it. It was like, this is unnerving. We have random creepers at my work all the time that just Me and too. I, I don't know what the solution is to getting guys to understand that some of the things they do can be very intimidating and creepy like i i don't know that there's a solution just, just be aware that sometimes you do things that you think and are if innocuous a woman steps back and, because you're too close don't step towards her again yeah that's that's no, kind of like a out of her space that's kind of a, a good golden rule but it seems to be more often with men that i have that problem Oh yeah, that they don't respect my my space bubble. Yeah, I need a. I have a definite uh, mm-hmm. circumference around me that needs to be kept. Yeah, open I'm really, at all I'm really times. not a touchy feely person. So I need that kind of. I need that. No. that or area. That was actually something else I had on my fantastic list <laughs> that I could check off now is. Um, t- 
touching that, you know, some people are more touchy feely than other with people my, are. Like people that I am in an intimate relationship with. Other than that, yeah. I'm not. Like, are you are you um, a hugger? No. Are you one of those people that likes to just like when you see? I your do friends, hug my hug friends them. when I when we are in greeting and in leaving, but I'm not someone that mm-hmm. hugs regularly. See, I don't even like. I'm just not a hugger. Like, I love yeah, to hug, I hug my, my kids, kids and I snuggle with know? my kids on the couch, but I don't sit next to my but, friends when we go places. Yeah. I have and I have certain friends who just are huggers mm-hmm. and I know that and so I hug them I make an exception because it's like okay they right, really want right. a hug fine I'll give them a hug but if I had my way I would go through life never <laughs> hugging anybody <laughs> just not, I'm not a super hugger snuggly it's or, just kind of you know. it's sort of off-putting to me like I and I think people are becoming more yeah. aware of this like it used to be you were just expected to give people hugs and I think yeah. now People are having more of an awareness that not everybody wants to be right. touched at all times. It really depends. I got more have, huggy after my I went through my divorce stuff because I had such a mm-hmm. lack of, of any connection. And so. Right. Of that actual right. physical Right. And so I started presence, hugging my friends like, more often yeah. and, you know, sitting close to, close to people. Mm-hmm. But usually mm-hmm. when I'm, you know, in a relationship or things are going, okay, I'm not – uh, touchy feely. I'm just not either. I I feel bad, but I'm, I'm just super touchy bitch, in my like, in my I relationships. Just... Like in when I'm in yeah. a relationship with someone, I'm I'll go to sleep holding their hand, or I'll you know reach over and just rub yeah. their face, or you know I'm really huggy and touchy, and I want to sit like right on top of them when we watch movies. And see, I am just the opposite. I and I don't know if it's that. If it's as I've gotten older, I've gotten more like know. that. Or like looking back on it, I can't really remember if I was always like that. But I'm just not into – I like I have this very definite arena mm-hmm. of personal space. And I'll hug people if they want to hug. Like I'm not going to get choked up about it. You don't it. have it to hug me. me. It's okay. super uncomfortable. I just – I just prefer not. Oh, okay. I'm probably going to hug don't, you. Just don't so, pat me on Although, the- <laughs> from your height, you're probably going to come what? up to my boobs, and that's going to be weird. Keep my mouth weird, closed. Got so. it. Noted. Okay. Might be a little awkward the my first time and there. But, to... and now I've got like one really good friend who she's just a yeah. hugger. She just is. She just hugs. She it's like it's she can't help herself. She's just got to hug everybody. <laughs> so for her, I will give hugs. Um, and yeah, yeah, for a few of my close right. friends, I'll give them hugs. But in general, I'm just not. Like with my with my family, my We're immediate family, my mom and dad, my brother. Mine is, we just my don't family's hug. not huggers We've either. When we huggers. see each other, like when I go down for Thanksgiving or something, will my mom will mm-hmm. hug me and my dad will probably hug me and they'll hug the kids. But then, you know, growing up, I I never yeah, we really hugged really growing do up. That. We were never we were never touchy feely. No. We we always were boundary people. We always had like and you know locked doors and. You know, it was never Mm – my husband's family, it really weirded me out because they were unlocked bathroom doors. And they would be like, come on in. Come brush your teeth. It's fine. I'm just showering. No, no, no. uh, No. No. The the number of times – Lock that door. He has has a lot of sisters. And so the number of times that I saw one of his sisters Mm -hmm. just start getting undressed right next to me and I'm – I and it's it's just because they had such a large family. But – and so it was just kind of like, eh, whatever. She's family, whatever. I like I would just be in the bathroom and someone would just strip down and step in the shower and that never happened in my house like ever. No, I need a locked bathroom door to this day. I lock I the need- door when I'm home alone and it's just me and the dog and the cat. Me too. Like yeah. it's so second hand now. I just I it's just muscle memory. Mm-hmm. I have to do it. I can't. And if I go into a bathroom and there's no lock, I like I just feel weird like yeah. someone's gonna walk in any second on me yeah I don't but like his this. his family was but yeah very we were weird. never like weird, a weird. huggy touchy family <laughs> growing up like even now if i like when i go to visit my brother mm-hmm. he lives about Mine two too. hours away do they live together i'll leave and we'll just be like yeah we'll just be like hey see well, ya my brother we we bro hug my brother and i bro hug i hug his wife and i hug his kids but um i don't hug him really Oh, yeah, I'll hug the kids, and I hug my sister-in-law, yeah. but with my brother, it's just like, meh. Maybe if you listen to my podcast. Mike says he does, but I really Patreon don't money. Brothers are terrible. I tried to guilt mine into giving I us I saw that. Money. You were like, Amy's work. sister did it, and he was like, He's she terrible. must be made of money. <laughs> and she was like, clearly I am. 
Yes, she's she seems like a very wealthy individual. Yeah, she should so. really up her Patreon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she really should. I mean, she's at the bottom she level. Get a she could, up, she, could, she know, could get herself a three dollars a month. She could. I mean, I'm not doing any special favors no. just because she's nope, family for don't. you. Like, you know, just she's like going to have to earn else. it. I'm just exactly. just like everybody else. Um, oh, yeah, so birthday parties. <laughs> I, oh, birthday parties. Yes, back to birth. They have gotten out of control. Can we talk about gift oh bags God, for a second? Oh, my God, I hate gift bags. The goodie bags. Oh, my, please, my kid does not need candy to go home with a giant and- pound of candy and shit from the dollar store that I'm just going to step away on later. And it's it's going to get broken. It's a nightmare. It's going to break two seconds later, and then my kid's going to get all sad. Because why did it break? Because it's a cheap piece of shit that I you didn't I threw a birthday party place. one year. It was uh, fish-themed, mm-hmm. because pff, why not? And um, I mm-hmm. had uh, French doors that led into like a an office area in that house. And so we had the office, the office doors open and a sheet up, and people went fishing into it. And so we had those little... I had those little bags of like those finger monsters and all these little things. Those those things you can get from Oriental mm-hmm. Trading like by the pound. I yeah. had all of that crap back yeah. there, and uh, my mom was back there manning the booth, and I had fish stuck all over it, and I, you know, drawn fish, and I've had bubbles up the wall. Like it was a really fun party. Sounds like you put a lot. No, of I forgot in that. it was my son's birthday, and I scrambled. Mm. Um, oh, okay. So and my yeah. mom and sister were in town, and so we just kind of threw it all threw it all up. Um, I just had construction paper. Like, literally, it was just construction paper bubbles and, you mm. know, whatever. And a sheet. Nice save. But um, yeah. I didn't want to do gift bags that year. So instead, I went to mm-hmm. I went to the dollar store. or No, it was actually Target. I went to Target. And I got those little glass bowls that were really – they're like 50 cents or 75 cents or something. The little cheap ones, the little little tiny, tiny bowls. And I put goldfish in them. And everybody went home with a goldfish. You sent other people's children. Oh yeah, they died in the fish. car ride home. I guarantee. I'm sure of it. I'm just. I'm. If you had sent my <laughs> child home with a fish, I would bring it back to your house. It's fine, and flush they were it all dead. Halfway through the party, half of them died. No them live died. animals. Because oh I had forgotten God. to do the water temperature thing, and um, yeah. But no, they all died during the party. And so we were like, um, so my husband's aunt had to run <laughs> out and grab her goldfish. But I thought that was a, a fun alternative to mm-hmm. the gift bags. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, here's a pro tip for everybody <laughs> that I started doing years ago. And my friend who had the birthday party Sunday has stolen from me. So she took this idea. But instead of gift bags, I go to the dollar store and just buy helium balloons, like foil balloons, because they're a buck a piece. So I use them for nice. party decorations. And then each kid goes home with a balloon. And it's only a buck. And kids like the balloons. And they hang around for a few days. And... It's like, I don't, please, I don't need my kid to bring shit mm-hmm. home. And then it's just too much. And then the, the places, like, when I was like a kid, going to destinations for birthday parties are ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, I get it, though. Oh, I don't want parties at my so house. Hard. We still do birthday parties at the park, though. Yeah, no. Because I just don't want to, I just don't mm-hmm. want to deal with anything. But it's like, a, it's a competition up here. Like, people will go horseback riding for their birthdays, or they'll go to the salon, or the mm-hmm. spa, or they'll go to different places. And it's mm-hmm. just... It's ridiculous. The real bummer about having kids with winter birthdays yeah. in Minnesota is that you cannot go to the park for their birthday, which sucks. Because if they had summer birthdays, we would do every yeah, single have, party have, at the park um, for free. One one winter birthday, one fall birthday, and one summer birthday. So mm-hmm. No, mine are both deep middle of winter, mm-hmm. so we always have to do it indoors. So, you know, with our first kid, I was all... Oh my god, I have this kid. I can do all these amazing things and I went a little overboard for a few years with yeah, that first one. I, I um didn't. We had a movie theater party one oh, year. Those are nightmares um, to go to. Yeah. And then every kid that I invited showed Ugh. up. So, it was really expensive and I had to watch like 12 kids at a movie. It was a pain in the ass. But now with our younger kid, I've just gotten him used to just having a party mm-hmm. at home every year cuz he doesn't know any different. That's just what we do. But with the older one, he's been having just sleepover parties every year. Like I'll he can invite three friends and they stay here and play video games and right. whatever. But this year he really wanted to a couple of years ago I paid to get a hotel room at the local water park and let him invite three of his friends. So we all stayed overnight in the hotel nice. at the water park and they got to go do and it was really fun. Yeah, but those places really are expensive. Crazy. 
And I think the last time we did it, I had actually won a gift certificate from like a company Christmas nice. party. And so that's how we did it. But then the past few years, we just haven't had as much money. So he's had to settle for at home sleepovers. Well, this year, all he wanted for his 14th birthday, he didn't want any presents. He just wanted to have a hotel water park sleepover party again. So my mom paid for him that was like her gift to him was just paying for the hotel nice. room so he could have his friends come. So we did that. But then, of course, I had to bring the eight year old with. Right. You can't I go can't, to a water park without like, him. Throw a water park party and be like, see ya. You got to we'll send you home. pictures of all the fun. So it's. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll right. FaceTime you and tell you how much fun we're having. So, yeah, fortunately, I got one of those loft rooms yeah. where there's kind of, there was an upstairs part. So the teenagers got that. And then it was me and my eight year old downstairs. Nice. And. It was fine, but God, expectations are just ridiculous and you can't re- for parties. Repeat People the place make- that someone else Ugh. in the class went to. No, my daughter went to a fashion show birthday party once. She was in okay. She was in what? kindergarten, and it was this oh one where God. it was actually a really cute little boutique that was downtown in the like the little downtown area. And the girls got makeovers. They got their nails done and they got their hair hair done. And then they got to go play in the dress up Mm -hmm. chest. And so they went and put on their dress up clothes and dress up. They had jewelry and everything after they'd done their hair and their nails. And they went and Mm -hmm. you could do like princess or punk rock or, you know, whatever. Like that was the theme of the party. And um, and so Mm -hmm. hers was both. It was princess punk rock or whatever the, the friends party we were at. And then they, they like, mm-hmm. moved the tables aside, and there was, like, this little stage that had, like, track lighting. And they lit it up, and they turned off mm-hmm. the – turned down, dimmed the lights, and played music. And the little girls did a little fashion show, like, walked the runway after their makeover. It was really cute. But are you oh freaking kidding gosh. me? She was turning, I think, six. Yeah. Or seven, something like that. It was yeah. ridiculous. I feel like all of this – birthday party craziness just feeds into our children becoming even more and more self-absorbed and thinking that they're really important. I don't yeah, know. I, it's, when I was a kid, it's like, it's your birthday? Okay, here's a present. Maybe invite some friends over. There was no, we weren't taking yeah. a trip anywhere. Like a destination it was, birthday party. I, it was some mm-hmm. family coming over and eating cake. Like it was. Well, I've looked into the. There's like petting zoos in the or not petting zoos, but there's like rescue farms in the area and you know things like that. And I've looked into it. Mm-hmm. and It's freaking expensive. Yeah. Well, because there's it's like weddings. There's yeah. so much money. Yeah, and they're to like you could have lunch it, in our barn. Any place that can turn itself into a party. And they yeah. pay you guys three hundred and something dollars to rent this space and to pet your lambs mm-hmm. or whatever. And I still have to just yeah. have a picnic in a barn. Um, yep. pass but it's charming you're paying for the charm oh, and the goat enough. smell because who doesn't love smelling goats yeah. on birthdays yeah you know? usually I, I, I look around and i price it and then i'm like you know what the park looks good again this year yeah i really wish i could do park parties that'd be so much easier we did the ones with the splash pads because those are the best things ever whoever invented splash pads we don't have a splash geniuses. pad we actually have a community group that got together. It was like mm-hmm. just this group of moms that's been fundraising for two or three years now to try to get a splash pad in this town because the city I live they in is the shit best and inventions doesn't want to pay for ever, anything nice. Ever. Well, and like yeah. everybody wants one except the people who live near the park that they want to put it in because those people are old and curmudgeonly and like, well, there's going to be too many it's a kids park. around. What do you expect? And, yeah, exactly. Like they're... The town I live in is totally catered to tourists, and there's a lot to do uh, here. Tourists like splash pads, too. I would stand under the splash pad in a dress. Just, I was hanging out. I'm hanging out with my kids, and then I'm like, I'm hot, too. So I just go and stand there. I'm like, eh. Yeah. I really hope we get the splash pad. It sounds like their fundraising effort is Good. going fairly well. So, But it's sad that like we just have to do this because we can't get our city to do anything fucking anything mean we don't even have a community center in this town like oh that's sad there's just nothing it's all geared towards retired people and tourists and if you live here you're just kind of fucked so i've only been to our community center once though so yeah my brother's got a real but he lives in a suburb you know like a metropolitan suburb area and they have an awesome community center yeah ours is pretty cool huge indoor playground Mm -hmm. and just 
they've had birthday parties for their kids there and it's cheap and everybody can use it. Nice. That's where they have the girls' dance classes and like ugh. ours is nice and it has a it has a <laughs> lake by it and it has um walking trails and ducks and you can get those mm-hmm. you can rent those little swan paddle boats and Oh fun. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice and there's a playground. We don't and- even have those here. I live in the land of ten thousand lakes and I've never even seen a swan paddle boat. <laughs> I've never been to a place that has one. Well, it's ridiculous. I, I walk that trail mm-hmm. when I'm feeling like I'm going to be healthy. And um, mm-hmm. yeah, there's it's right there. I've never seen nice. anyone actually take it out and go mm-hmm. out there. But it looks probably looks good sitting there. Yeah. 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 Birthday parties, man. <sighs> if you just don't have kids, you can avoid it. Or you just have friends that or you just have kids that don't have friends. Yeah, that's true. That's a very good. My point. my Although, older kids, as they're getting as they're getting older and up in age, like people don't really invite fifteen year old boys no. to their house. The last no. birthday party I had for my oldest was probably when he was in seventh grade or so, and I mm-hmm. did not have another party at my house because it was a nightmare. I had twelve fifth or twelve seventh graders in my house. Oh my! And it God. was a nightmare. They were like climbing up my fence and shaking it really hard, and mm-hmm. I was like, "They're gonna break my fence." Yeah, the nice thing is my kid only has, like, three decent friends. Yeah. So if you can get a nice small group of friends and they're all decent kids, like, yeah. his three best friends are all fairly decent kids that respect my property and don't, Yeah, I didn't, you know. I didn't know half these kids and I didn't like them by the time, by the time the party was over. Yeah. But I was the, the mom that was probably bothering people that time around because I did a, mm-hmm. a video game truck party. Oh. Where um, it was a converted bus, like a Greyhound bus or something, and it's just couches on mm-hmm. one wall and then TVs on the other, and he just had, like, every video game imagined. Oh, my God. And you just my you just set the die. rating. You just say, you know, anything below – you know, I did all e-games, just everything that's mm-hmm. – yeah, everyone. I didn't want any mature. I didn't want any 17 because he was yeah. turning, like, 13 or 14. Yeah. And so I just – I had it all – you know, a rate, I set a rating level and he has it, you know, divided by rating. And the kids just, I had the truck for like an hour and a half. It parked in front of my house. The kids came inside, you know, ate pizza or whatever, went out and played in the truck. And he had mm-hmm. little games that he would play with them and they would win. At the time, it was Skylander creatures. And so they would mm-hmm. win the little Skylander creatures. And, um, and was, was and this a le- pedophile who ran this truck? Probably. I didn't go out there. I could see this being a great job for a pedophile. <laughs> he was super nice, and he was late, so he actually mm-hmm. gave it to me for free instead of me having to end up paying for the session. Well, I was going to, I was ready to pay for it, but because he yeah. was late, he'd forgotten. Mm-hmm. He'd written it on his calendar for the next weekend instead of that weekend, mm-hmm. and so he was out in his town. He was like forty minutes away, so he was actually late to the birthday party because I called. I was like, mm-hmm. "Hey, where are you?" And he was like, oh, yeah. crap. So he gave it to me for free. And I didn't wow. – he, like, reimbursed me my money and whatever. And so – and he was like, you can use, use me again for another party at another time. And I just – I never called. But, um, hmm. yeah, so it was – he parked in front and it was, like, an hour and a half or two-hour session. And then they came back in and we had cake and ice cream and everybody left. I think I need to start a video game bus because mm-hmm. that sounds like a genius it idea. Was a and I've never heard idea. of it in my life. It was absolutely brilliant. Although, like, when my kid has his friends over, they all bring their little devices. Yeah. And I actually have a picture from when he was, I think his 10th birthday party, of him and, like, five friends just sitting on the bed all with <laughs> their laptops own things. in front of them. <laughs> all next to each other. Like, all sitting within mm-hmm. two inches of each other, staring at different screens. <laughs> well, I, I went over to a friend's house this weekend, and uh, we were watching... We were just watching a show together, and it was me and her and her husband. We were all sitting on the like on the couch or on the chair, and we're all on our phones. We were all like texting yeah. someone else or Facebooking someone else. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, "This is kind of funny that we're all just yeah." I have a I have a picture from last Christmas mm-hmm. of my dad and my in laws. So my father in law, my mother in law, mm-hmm. and my dad all sitting on the same couch, all staring at their phones. <laughs> And these three are all notorious for bitching about how they are. social media is ruining everything and texting is ruining everything. It's just the perfect picture. I love it. That is great. Like the three of you who are constant goddamn kids on their phones all the time. Mm-hmm. Look at you three sitting there with your phones. Well, we were, we were kind of commenting on 
who we were talking to and what, you know, but mm-hmm. I think it's kind of funny. Yeah. So, amusing to me. birthday parties. I think we've, <sighs> we've done that topic to so death. This so, this year I should... had a big birthday party. Oh. Because my friends. Was it a video game van party? No, I went to a dueling piano okay. bar. Oh, I've been to those. I went to that one time for a they bachelorette party. They are so much fun. It's they super really loud. Are. Crazy loud. But mm-hmm. it's like a club. But it's so much fun because um, my I'm going through, you know, my divorce. Mm-hmm. And that was earlier in it. Shmishmore. Yeah, before mm-hmm. things were... I'm getting near the end where everything's basically just a signature away, but that was my birthday was yeah. in January. And so it was earlier and it was in the kind of the middle of all the, the shit. And, um, mm-hmm. my friends were, they threw me a party at, and it was so much fun. Oh, nice. It was so much fun. And it was crazy and loud and everybody kept buying me drinks. And, um, mm-hmm. yeah, it was, a, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. The last time I got drunk was at a piano bar. God, that was like five years I, ago. I wore a tutu. I have only brought out that tutu like one or two mm-hmm. other times, but I wore a tutu and it was and a, and a princess crown. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've only been the one time, and it was the really last fun. time. I'm kind of sad. I because, got drunk. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Was five minutes ago? No, I have too much work to do tonight. Mm-hmm. No, it was okay. probably two days, three days ago. Okay. Four yeah, days mine was ago. like five years ago. So you're better than me. That's longer, right? Yes, significantly longer. But then it would put you to about my age. So I'll get there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Another crack about my age. I'm. <laughs> you're like there it is. Yeah, my birthday's <laughs> coming up in like less than a month. Mm. But I had such a great surprise party last year that nothing can top it. So now you should this just not celebrate like, it anymore. Meh. At this point. Like you just stay the same. I mean, now same. that I've hit forty, right. you just stay yeah, the same. Not, there's no point celebrating the rest of them. So it's all downhill from yeah. there. I'll just pretend like I'm forty for the rest. I've of I've heard my it's life. all downhill from thirty five. Is it? It is. It really is. Yeah. No. I don't know. When I get I mean, there, 30, I'll, I'll wonder. Thirty five is like peak age. I is think. it? And then after that, it's kind of you're just getting old and decrepit <laughs> and tired and cranky, <laughs> and everything starts falling apart. <laughs> You know. So I went into work yesterday, and um, first thing, first words out of the first person that I saw in the lobby was, um, did you have a really rough night? Because you look tired. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I just didn't put on any makeup. I, I didn't have time. Yeah. I came home. I, I, I went to a friend's house, and she lives about an hour and a half away. And so I came home in time to shower, throw on my clothes, and run out of the door. So I didn't have makeup on. And I was like, not really. I mean, I slept on a couch last night, but I slept well. And she was like, did you get like wasted with your friends? I'm like, no, no. I mean, I had a bottle. I shared a <laughs> bottle of wine with her, but no. Yeah. And she was like, you look rough. I was like, oh. I was like, um, I'm almost 40. This is your future. And she was like, yeah. okay, whatever. I'm like, okay. <laughs> 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 like this is what happens. No, that's just... exactly what I said. I have no makeup on mm-hmm. and I didn't have time to even moisturize. So this is just my natural mm-hmm. skin and thanks a lot. <laughs> yep. And yes, she thank was you for she was like, No, I'm pretty sure you didn't sleep because you look real tired. I'm like, okay. She didn't she didn't back <laughs> down. This is just what real women look like when they're not. <laughs> well, I do I things. wear makeup all the time. And that is mm-hmm. the first time they've ever seen me without makeup on. So I probably do oh, look different. Oh yeah. I probably do look different. Um yeah. So and I I put on makeup today and no one said I look tired. So hey, although I'm more exhausted today than I was yesterday. You need to get some more of that virgin blood <laughs> that you can use as a moisturizer because it really keeps the skin supple. Is that what it is? I, that's my that's my tr- uh, trick. I don't for even know where to find virgins. It's really hard. Mormon there, churches. There aren't many around these days. It's not no, definitely mm. not in churches. Mm. I think there's some on Amazon, something like that. I don't know. Should I Google virgin blood? I would for sure. I'd yeah. be terrified of the results. <laughs> so one thing we have I realized we haven't done in a while is we completely forgot about our book of questions. Oh yeah. Hey. We also forgot so, our book club, but you were supposed to pick it and I didn't read it. Uh, I'm still working on okay, it. Okay, okay, we'll get back to you. We'll so circle back let's around. Let's do the let's do the question and then I'll have some housekeeping stuff. And then I can put my child to bed because he's spent the last two days puking and Aww, okay. really wants me to put him to bed tonight. Anyway, pick a number. 
Hmm. 36. Think really hard. 36. Okay. 36 <laughs> is... All right. If you knew you could devote yourself to any single occupation, music, writing, acting, business, politics, medicine, etc., and be among the best and most successful in the world at it, what would you choose? If you knew you had only a 10% chance of being so successful, would you still put in the effort? <laughs> Isn't that life? Um, eh, pretty much, yeah. Anything? I honestly don't know. I would be a United States senator. Yeah. Uh, but only if I could skip the campaigning part. I would probably do if medicine of some sort. I would probably be a surgeon. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Oof. I probably. I would probably do. I would be so squeamish. I am not. We've had this conversation. I am not squeamish Yuck. at all. One bit. And um, yeah. that's so. That's just okay. Yeah. No. So I yeah, I would a, be. I'd be a politician if I didn't have to go through all that. I would be a surgeon, shit. and um, I don't and know what specialty. I would probably do plastic surgery, not because I wanted to do like boobs and stuff, but I would probably do mm -hmm. like uh, like the facial Dicks? deformities. Well, of course, they all need to be fixed. Dick fixing. Dick fix. Get your dick <laughs> fixed. Hashtag. That's get your hashtag <laughs> dick fix. <laughs> No, I would do like facial deformities and you know mm -hmm. things like that. I would probably yeah, that's probably cool. what I would do. By cool, I mean interesting that someone wants to do that. That is what I would want to me. do. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever no, seen Spray on Skin? It is the coolest thing ever. You probably don't watch the same documentaries I do. Uh, no, <laughs> I, that sounds fucking awful. I can't even. So my my <laughs> husband used to he would fall asleep on the couch and I would change it over to like the Surgery Channel. And I'd be watching like Yuck. an an uh, an open head cra oh, craniotomy God. without anesthesia no, or something. No, and no, And he would no. wake up and he was like, "It's worse than waking up and you're watching porn." He was like, "This is worse. Ugh. This is worse." He was like, "Someone's skull is cracked so open right on my gross. TV." And I gotta take his side on that one. That's I'm just disgusting. Fascinated. I'm like, watch when they touch that part of her brain. She laughs. He was no. like, "Oh my God, what is wrong with you? What?" Is oh. Wrong with you? gross i can't even so, oh i've seen so many um yeah it's uh some i had to watch for school some i didn't yeah. some i watched for fun it's you know the university of miami yeah university of miami uh, mm -hmm. med school there's a university in miami med school has um there's it's a teaching there's a teaching university and a lot of their surgeries are online gross no it's awesome you're mispronouncing so are awesome. Our new Patreon goal is to send Amy to medical school so she can <laughs> fix faces. I and don't want to go to medical school. I, There's a lot of dick fixing that needs to be done. I do need done, to do my dick so fix. Someone's got to take that initiative. It does. Um, do. Speaking of, so Patreon, speaking of Patreon, I don't know if you've all heard of this, um, but we're on this website called Patreon. <laughs> Have you, did I tell you about this, Amy? Mm -mm. I don't think I did. Um, I don't even know the password. So it, turns out that you can give us money on this website what even me and then and then we get that money <laughs> yeah we have to split it because there's two of us but then do we though i haven't i don't know do we split it you haven't seen any of it i'm seen just any of it. <laughs> please i made up this whole website just keep giving and... us money and eventually it'll the trickle down economics I'll, i'm sure it'll i'll give work her at some a dollar point. eventually but <laughs> i hold the purse strings here i'm in charge of this relationship um this feels so I familiar have, why does this feel so familiar i, I know <laughs> I've mainly used all of the no, funds with, that people have been sending us. We're to sending mail it dicks, into the bowls, soup. soup bowls, and dicks. Yeah. <laughs> soup bowls with dicks on them. So yes. your money is going to good use. Is all I'm saying. Yes. Um, paint markers for me mm -hmm. to draw dicks. Obviously, you know that stuff's expensive, yeah. and the bowls to paint them on. So uh, one thing I wanted to mention though is that we so last month we switched our Patreon from. Uh, support per episode to monthly support. Yes, and so that means that the amount that we've gotten has gone down because people who used to pledge, you know, a dollar an episode are now pledging a dollar a month because it just stays there unless you physically go in and change it. So just a heads up, if you were pledging, you know, at like a dollar an episode before, 
and you want to fix that so that you're pledging at kind of the same amount, you would want to increase that. Just a suggestion. Um, some people already have, and that is awesome, and we thank you. Uh, but we also have some new patrons this week. It's been a good week for new patrons, yes, so that's it has. awesome. So I wanted to throw some credit mm-hmm. out to EncyclopediaDumbAmerica.com, which I'm pretty sure I know who this is, and she's in our 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 secret group, not our secret soup talk group, but the other secret group that Amy and I are in that nobody else gets to be in. Um, because I remember her talking about Encyclopedia Dumb America and how she's trying to put it together and she's trying to find stories of just stupid shit that happens in America so it can all be on this website. Nice. Which I think is That's a, great idea. a fantastic idea. I love it. So check out EncyclopediaDumbAmerica.com. Um, and our other new ones, we have Kimberly Kellogg um at the i'm doing a lot of ums because i'm just my brain's dead for tonight at the two dollar level we have kimberly so brand new patron thank you kimberly that's awesome (laughs) and then we got a new five dollar a month patron Dwayne, who also left us a review on our facebook page which is fucking awesome thank you so much Dwayne. Um, we've really got a lot of guys stepping it up and giving us money, which is... I mean, they really, as at this should point, be. They, they should, as an apology deserve it. for all of the yeah. things. They know, I mean, if they, they want to make up did. for all the horrible things men have done, they should just, just send us general. money and then they can feel better. And if know? they're feeling especially bad, they can just, you know, do a PayPal thing, too. Yeah, we had two people uh, give us monies on PayPal. Yeah. So we had Graham and Dylan. So Dylan... That was our other new patron. Dylan became a patron and gave us money on PayPal. Oh, see? Like, he's doing it right. He's doing it right. He learn gave us some money the, on learn PayPal from the good first doctor, you guys. Just to check it out and see how it was, you know, set up. And then that felt good. Mm-hmm. And so he decided, I'm going to keep this going and just do a monthly donation. He said that it cut into his bow tie budget. So <laughs> we may have to send him some bow ties. I, can, in the I know how to make bow ties. I have made bow ties in the past. You're the you're the one who can sew. I so can sew. Have, yes, I had my have own little um, not bow tie business, but I had my own little yeah. sewing business for a while. Yeah, back so in Dr. the day, Dylan is probably going to need some bow ties with dicks all over them. If you could make that happen, I'm sure I can find some fabric with dicks on it. That would be great. My but search I'm going history to... is going to be fantastic. Yes, nobody. It's not going to be suspicious at all. Um, Who's so looking? all of our patrons. I live alone with my cat off. and my dog. Who's looking? Yeah. And your dick fabric that you're going to sew things into. <laughs> Make my daughter a dress for school. Picture day. Yeah, with dicks all over it. <laughs> okay. So we've got Maddie, By Any Means Podcast, Rebecca, Jerry, Wendy, Jenny, EncyclopediaDumbAmerica.com. And then at the $2 level, we have Nathan Dickey, Dr. Dylan, and Kimberly Kellogg. Yay. The four dollar. I don't think I'm even doing this right. Twenty ten five. It's all backwards. Okay, so at the four dollar a month level, we have Larry Yelling Man, who you can hear at Man Yells at News. Yep. Um, five dollar a month. Carissa, Allen, and Dwayne. Dwayne is our newbie. Thank you so much. Well, he's gonna have to come up with an episode idea then. Yep. And then ten dollars a month. Uh, we have Rich, what? superstar Rich. And then also, again, Alice, who sent us a private message to explain the whole dead naming is bad thing that she changed it to last uh, time. It, that was fine. So it's actually Alice, but now her name has been changed to dead naming is bad and Ricky Gervais should feel bad. So turns out there was a whole inside joke there that we didn't know about. Yeah, because it wasn't meant for us. <laughs> but she assured us that it was not meant for us. We were not the ones dead naming people. So I, yeah, I was like, we were, I haven't. We were relieved to hear so that. <laughs> pretty sure I haven't. And then we have our premier $20 blueberry soup patron, Ashley, who also what? sent us a message because we read her message on the air last last episode. Yeah. And apparently when she wrote that message, um, there's a part in it that says... The calorie when she's counting. she's describing someone, the calorie count, that the person is an asshole on a who put the calorie count on this level. Yeah, I didn't know. The I who, didn't understand who, it, but I, I was like, eh. Whatever. The the who put the calorie count part was in a separate text that she accidentally copied and pasted into that message because she was multitasking and trying to be a doctor and mom at the same time. So yeah, it was just a like a typo. It was supposed to say international level, not who put the calorie count on here level. That's hilarious. It was kind of cute. Anyway, it's she fine. was 
she seemed kind of mortified because we had read it and then she heard it and went, oh my God. <laughs> I'm leaving it because it was funny. It was funny. I, th- I thought it made total sense. So those are our patrons. And if you would like to join them and have your name read aloud, um, you can do that at patreon.com slash secular sue. Uh, yeah. That's true. I don't know. All right. I'm going to the Patreon. I don't know. Or, or send us money, PayPal, just, just, paypal.com. Or, or just both. Like, you don't have to pick, you or know. Just, just do them both. Why pick if or you're choose? Not just sure, do both. When in doubt, do them both. Yeah. That's If that paycheck is just too heavy in your pocket, just send it to us. We'll lighten your load. Yeah, that, that <laughs> extra tax refund you're getting that Trump gave you, you don't need all that money. Come on. Yeah, you're welcome, it our white, way. white America. Yep. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so yeah, let's wrap this up and okay. then I can go and, and wait, 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 wait. Still okay. got one more thing. <laughs> I was going to be done. I was about to go take a I'm nap. I'm terrible. Okay. I know. So we're going to be recording our second Conspiracy Chowder episode. Yeah, we are. Probably right after this. We'll see how it goes. Are we? And uh. we will be talking, we will be talking <laughs> lizard people. So. What? If you be, I didn't know if this. You, <gasps> I'm very excited if you about be, this. If you become a patron at any level, yes. you will get to hear our conspiracy chowder episode. And that I'm secretly a lizard person. So yeah, so far we've got the one on the Raelians, which is already up, and soon there will be one on the reptile reptilians. I'm so excited about lizard people. people. I don't know. So yes, lizard that people is our next right conspiracy up. chowder. Become a pat patron. <laughs> become a patron. God my <laughs> Is somebody doing surgery on my brain right now and I'm, touching the parts of it that affect speech? You would know. Because, uh, you'd think. Because they'd say hold still. If they're doing surgery on my brain, maybe I'm in some sort of weird state where I just think I'm podcasting. Or you're just in I'm the not. Matrix. Maybe we're all in yeah, the Matrix. That makes total Who sense. Knows? So yeah. Anyway, become a patron. You can hear all the conspiracy chowder. Now Amy can take us out. Okay. And that's all we've got for now. Thanks to all our fabulous listeners who put up with us droning on week after week. If you enjoy our delightful bitchcraft, please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and send us all your monies on Patreon. You can find us on those platforms by using the Google machine. It's not hard. This week, your donations will go to, I don't know, car tires. Lizard people. Lizard people. I don't know. I I was going to say pallets, too. I'm like, I don't know. I just have so many things I want to buy. Pallets are fine. Pallets are great. (laughs) I don't. Yeah. I never know. I have all this list, these lists of things, and then when I get mm-hmm. to it, I'm like, I can't remember any of them. I should probably write them down. <laughs> we should rehearse. Is what we should do. Why do a practice now? run? No, yeah. no, because then I would just say that's good enough. Let's send it out. Yep, exactly. <laughs> if you want to tell the world how awful this episode was, w- join our secret soup talk Facebook group. If you want to tell us to fuck off personally, you can send an email to secular soup support secular soup podcast <laughs> at gmail.com. Oh, we're terrible. oh man. Please this rate why and podcast. Us on iTunes, Facebook, and wherever else you can review things like this. It will help us spread the soup gospel far and wide. And hey, tell your friends. If you have them. I don't know. You probably I'm don't. not gonna friend shame anyone. As always, we'll leave you with the vocal stylings of Mr. Eli Bosnick. Secular soup creed. Soup is the ultimate virtue. It's delicious, nutritious, patriarchy smashing, racism fighting, warm and fuzzy, human affirming, fun having, anti theist, glitter throwing, tummy satisfying, pair of new shoes fulfilling, diversity seeking, happiness. Minestrone, beef and barley, chicken broth and split pea, gazpacho, tomato. Clam chowder and potato. Chicken noodle, beef noodle, egg drop and ramen cup. Miso, gumbo, leek and pho. Grab a bowl and taste the magic. Slurp even this.